the only me in this world. Hey everyone, my name is Hugh Yang. But that wasn't always the case. Flashback 21 years ago, I was born and raised in Bangkok, Thailand, and I wasn't a Hugh Yang. My real legal given name given to me by my parents was Tira Trinetkamon. Tira Trinetkamon is a Thai name with Sanskrit roots, which roughly translates to eternal third eye on forehead. That's pretty weird, right? Well, I loved it. I loved that the third eye meant enlightenment in Buddhism. And growing up, I always loved rolling my R's when I said, Ti Ra, Tri Nerkamon. But eventually I realized that not many people shared my fondness of saying my name. For some context of my background, I went to an American international school outside of the United States. So although I was born and raised in Bangkok, Thailand, I was often surrounded by Western friends and Western teachers. So whenever my name was called on for attendance, or for any reason at all, I was often met with an all too familiar pause. Someone would read my name hesitantly and then mispronounce it, or say, I won't even attempt this. This made me question whether my name was a good name at all. Because names are supposed to be short, right? They're supposed to be easy, something catchy, something that won't make your head explode trying to pronounce it. So I decided to change my name. And I did this by drawing inspiration from three famous celebrities that came to my mind that day. And for some reason, I thought of Bill Nye, <laughs> Beyonce, <laughs> and Donald Trump. I'd pay big money to see these three in a carpool karaoke together. <laughs> but anyways, I realized that the characteristic which these three famous celebrities had in common was that their names were short and they were really catchy. Everyone knows Bill Nye the Science Guy. That name practically rolls off the tongue. Queen B, Yonse, that's a great play on words. <laughs> and regardless of how you feel of him, the name Donald Trump is an objectively catchy name. So, when I came to college here in the United States, I decided to reinvent myself, specifically my name, because I thought that if I'd just gone by Tira Trinetkamon, that would alienate me from my Amer new American friends and American employers. And so, I decided to Frankenstein up a new name for myself based on my two given names. For my first name, I decided to go by Hugh, which was a nickname my parents gave me because they wanted me to have an easy English name. Little do they know that no coffee shop <laughs> in the world has ever spelled my name right. <laughs> that one at the bottom actually says Pierce. I was the only person in the, in the shop that day, and that woman just decided to give me a new name. <laughs> Anyways, and for my last name, I decided to go by the name Yang, which was an English spelling of my Chinese name, Shen, Yang. And so there we had it. On my 8,000 mile flight from Bangkok to LAX, Tira Trinetkamon was no more. From then, I would be called Hugh Yang. And I'll be honest, at first, I liked being called Hugh Young. It was a short name, and it was easy to pronounce, which made my life so much easier. 
So I decided that I would change my name on social media to Hugh Young. I ran for elected office as a Hugh Young. And I decided to be asked to be called Hugh Young everywhere. But then one day, as I was miserably searching for an internship, as all college students do, I decided to Google up the name Hugh Young on the internet just to see what my employers would see if they did the same. And to my surprise, I saw pages upon pages of Hugh Youngs, most of which ended up being elderly men that looked very proud of their accomplishments. <laughs> but out of the 18 pages worth of Hugh Youngs, the one thing I didn't find was me. On the other hand, when I looked up the Ra Trinerkamon on Google, all of it was me. All of my work, all of my accomplishments, and everything that I am proud of. And so far as I can tell, out of the seven billion people on this planet, I am the only Ti Ra Trinerkamon in this world. This was an eye-opening realization for me because this meant that Tira Trinerkamon wasn't just my name. It was a name that was only me. So from that day onwards, I decided that I didn't want to go by Hugh Young anymore. Not because it was a bad name, but because I realized that it wasn't me. I'd been so incredibly privileged to have been born with a name that was so incredibly unique, but I decided to let go of that just for the sake of fitting in. Just a show of hands, who here has changed their name, whether it is by shortening it, accepting a mispronounced version of it, or simply changing it entirely like me? That is so many of us here, and I'd wager there are so many of us around the world. Let me tell you right now, three years in of using the name Hugh Young in the United States, I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed that I let go of who I was just for the sake of fitting in. Unlike the ugly duckling who eventually accepted himself for who he was and grew up to be a beautiful swan, I decided to clip my wings and paint them yellow just for the sake of fitting in. So if there's one thing you can take out away is that you should be proud of your name. You should be proud of who you are, and you should be proud of your culture and heritage. When I decided to change my name from Tira Trinerkamon to Hugh Young that day, I was not only sacrificing my culture and losing my heritage, I was also letting go of a name that was uniquely me. So I think that instead of changing your name, you should be proud of your name. No matter how long, unorthodox, or difficult to pronounce it may be. Even if you feel like your name is difficult to pronounce, you should accept it because it is who you are. And I'll be honest, if people really won't accept you, because your name is difficult to pronounce or because it is too long, then I don't think these are the people that are worth your time. So to conclude, you should be proud of who you are, you should be proud of your name, and you should love your family 
and your heritage. On that note, earlier today, I'd introduced myself as Hugh Young. But now as we're nearing the end, I'd like to have an opportunity to reintroduce myself. Hey everyone, my name is Dira Trinetkamon. I am the only me in this world. I love my name, and you should love yours too. Thank you.